Managing social media has changed. Gone are the days of passing around Word documents or Google Docs to get approvals for social posts that are about to go out. Now we use tools to collaborate and automate the approval of social posts. In this video, I'm going to show you how a client interacts with Social Pilot. So stay tuned for that. In a previous video, I showed you all the ways Social Pilot is a great tool for managing your social media. And if you missed that video, you can click the link above. I put a link to it. There's also a link in the show notes below. Check it out. It's a good video. In this one, however, I'm going to talk more about a client's experience in Social Pilot. If you're an organization that runs social media for clients, then you need a single location where everybody can go to create posts, to publish posts, and to approve posts. I'm going to show you the client's perspective on that in this video. The first thing that will happen is you'll get an email, and that email will have a link to it to Social Pilot. And that link is intended for you to set up your account, your client account. I'm going to set one up for myself right now. And now what I've done is I've created an account in Social Pilot. So I am now a client with an account, but I need to connect my social media accounts to it. So I'm going to continue forward to get my social media accounts connected to Social Pilot. This is great because I can ensure that my social media accounts are connected and can be managed by someone else without giving them my login and password. So when I choose to connect accounts, there are certain accounts that the agency is asking me to connect. In this example, it's Facebook pages and LinkedIn profiles and pages. But that could be Instagram, that could be Facebook profiles, Twitter, Pinterest, all the social media accounts can be connected here. I'm sharing these two because these are the two associated with my account being requested of me at this time. And what it does is with Facebook pages, it then shows all the pages associated with my account. Now I have quite a few pages in this example, but I'm just going to connect one of them. I'm going to choose the page and then I just click connect account. Now the great thing here is my account is now connected to Social Pilot and I did not have to give anyone my login and password to do that. So let's connect the other accounts. I'm going to start by connecting LinkedIn pages. It'll require me to log into LinkedIn. And just like you saw with Facebook, any of the pages associated with my personal LinkedIn profile are available for connection. And I'm going to choose one of those. I'm almost all the way there. Now I'm going to connect my LinkedIn profile. I choose connect account again and click connect profile. And this is connecting my personal profile. So it's going to ask me, am I sure I want to do this? It lets me know that Social Pilot is asking for connectivity here. Again, Social Pilot is connecting directly and I'm authorizing it. No logins or passwords changed hands. I even have control over the schedule here. Now what's great here is I, as the client, have insights into what the agency is setting up on my behalf. Now when I first set up the account, the queue is empty. I just gave the agency access to my accounts. Now that they have access, they can start scheduling posts for me. And so what we'll do is we'll allow that to happen right now, and then I will see these posts and get the opportunity to improve them. And now when I log in, I see that there's some posts for me to review. These posts are scheduled, and they're ready for me to see what's going on. So as a client, I'm logging in on a regular basis, and I'm checking out the posts that are queued, the posts that are delivered, and so forth. So when I look at the screen here, I see queued posts. This means they have not gone out yet. And I can see for each of them when they're scheduled. Now in this example, it, it, the, each one of these is going to each of the three social accounts that I connected. It wouldn't always work this way, but for the example, you can see each of the social accounts has something scheduled. Maybe I don't want one of them to go out. So what I do is I have some options at the bottom. I can of course post it, I can reschedule it, I can delete it, or I can edit it. Well maybe for this, this page called Best Guitar Videos, I really don't need to have a post on search engine optimization. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And now that's gone. And so now I don't have to worry about that going out. Maybe that the person who created the posts for me, I like what they did, but I wanted to do something a little different for one of mine. I might do a modification to it. I can just click the 
edit post. And since this is one that had been posted on my LinkedIn before, maybe I'm just going to say that it's a repost. And I was able to modify that post that was created for me, and it's still scheduled to go out. And I can keep with the schedule, I can reschedule it, or I can click share now and it would just go right away. If I have other posts that were created but they haven't been scheduled yet, which is common, I would see those in unscheduled. And of course, I can always go back to the history by looking at delivered. Now I have access to a dashboard as the client where I can see the posts that are queued, the posts that are in error. I can get some insights on what's being done on my behalf. I can also get insights from analytics. In this case, I'm pulling up some LinkedIn analytics and it shows me what's going on. Again, I can then proactively check on what's being done with my account as a client here interacting with SocialPilot. And lastly, while I don't have any messages in here, if I do have messages from some of my social accounts, for example, in this case, it's Facebook, where somebody messaged in that, I can interact with that right here. This gives me the same level of access as the professional that's working on my behalf. So this is a very useful tool for me as a client because I can do some of these things that the professional social media managers do, and I can do it just with my account. So overall, what you see here is SocialPilot allows you as the client to interact with your posts, to update your posts, to delete them. If you find yourself interacting with it and you can't delete for some reason, and you want that option, let the person who manages it for you know. This is a security setting. I make videos like this all the time. Sometimes they're on technology, other times they're on business or personal development. If you like what you saw, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you have some comments on other tools that you use, put that in the comments below. I appreciate that as well. Thanks for your time today, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.